girl, sing with me now. Music is my drug. I'm Faith Chan, and you are watching Music Is My Drug TV. Keep locked and make sure you subscribe. Holla. You're here myself, Josh Ford, and we're joined by Faith Child. Hello. For people that don't know, just introduce yourself. I'm Faith Chan, I'm a rapper, drummer, songwriter, actor, mentor, baby of five. I'm not spoiled, had a good indicated for, and I'm a South London. That's a very good introduction. So, let me try and skip ahead around that. You're a singer, you're an actor, songwriter, rapper. How does all that come about? Do you, so you can rap, you can like do your own hook and some of the singing and stuff. Yeah, I, I often do that, yeah. and I vocal arrange most of my songs as well. So, yeah. so you're like the, the finished art kind of thing already? Like. Something like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Check him out, yeah. So, what have you been up to? Tell us a little bit about... Um, keeping really busy. I just got back from... Where? Slovakia. I've been in Europe for a while. Okay. Just doing a festival circuit. I was in Switzerland, partial Austria, and then Slovakia last stop. Off to Germany next week, and then tour in Slovakia again. In October, so I keep them really, really busy. Sounds really like sounds does sound busy. Like you just yeah. get yourself a butt. Yeah. So how is it like out there? It's great because it's virgin territory in which uh, most people may not know me out there. Mm -hmm. But when I go out there, like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I know for a fact in Switzerland, I know they don't know what on earth I was saying, but they're having a good time. Yeah. But I'm um, similar. Like if you listen to Afro beats or maybe like Japanese pop, you don't know what on earth they're saying, but it sounds good. Yeah. So I guess similarly in that respect, when as long as it's good music and it sounds great and the energy's high, mm. they can vibes along with you. So okay. it's great out there, it's great. Sounds good. Have you done anything like memorable, any memorable concerts? Um, I did, um, I headlined at the Indigo. I had my own gig oh, in the Indigo, yeah? myself and two of my pals, Governor B and Vic Tizzle, we did that in um, 2010. That was amazing. Yeah. Um, and I've done quite a few other things. Went to Downing Street, had tea with the, um, with tea. David. Cameron. You had tea with him? Yeah. Why? He still wanted me to come round. He, he just called, just like, Faith Child, like, I'm, I'm, I'm well, here. He, well, he emailed me, he ain't got my number. Well, he's got my number, but he emailed me. We can play some FIFA, drink well, some tea. I don't really play games, but we had some finger fears and canapes. <laughs> had a fun time. For real? Like, you... you yeah, 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 yeah. Got pictures and everything, it's real. People just get to meet David Cameron. I, I don't even want to meet David Cameron, but it's just an interest that someone has, you know? Sub D Cam. <laughs> <laughs> First thing in terms of that, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, David. Apologies. David. Yeah. Mr. Cameron. Yeah, I like, to, I like to have a good time in life. and I, Life is yeah. a joke to me. Life, so, <laughs> life's a joke. Why take life too seriously? You know? I tell you, no one gets out of life, so hey. <laughs> there you go. So you're here tonight at Brick House, music is my drug. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling for your performance? I'm feeling great. I just pray that I don't fall off the, off the stage because I'm a very high energetic person. Yeah. So I just hope I don't fall off. But I know I won't fall off. I was going to be conscious not to fall off. If you fall off, just style it out like. Pfft, I'm Obviously, this rascal did it, and he fell into a cute woman, but he still carried on. <laughs> so I guess the show must the go on. The show was about to set. The show must go on. I regardless. like him, even though he cast my chainers before. I like. Him. I don't know. I don't know. I, didn't, I like them. I can we can we get a crap check real quick? Like I didn't cast the trainer. I like the way that obviously it's neat. He's got the tongue outside of the beige, just chilling. He's got the grey colour socks, slightly matches this, it's brown, but it works. Do you know what I mean? I like the way it complements one another. Right, he didn't cast my trainers, but he did say that he gave 20 trainers to charity, which is very respectable, but I haven't even got 20 trainers to charity. Since, yeah, let's not go into that. That hurts, <laughs> that hurts, like, here. No, but you, you, got, you got to work with what you got. The, the, the truth is, I have, like, probably, oh, well, a lot of trainers. I won't say I've got a lot of trainers, but I only wear, like, 12 of them. To be honest, I only wear 12 of them. So, yeah, really and true, okay. it's not really to, to hate or anything, but yeah. I, I'm not hating, I'm just, oh, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, you just know, I'm not hating, we're not haters over here. Yeah. So, how do you think Music Is My Drug is good for the industry? Well, how do you think? It's great, it gives a platform to those who may not be as well known, and those who don't have the recognition they deserve. Mm. Um, for example, Olivia, singing tonight, she does backing vocals for Devlin. Um, and normally when you do backing vocals for an artist, you don't really get as much shine, or maybe as you should, but I guess your job is to back, to back, yeah. do you know what I mean? Back, but yeah. it's great that she's able to have her own set tonight, yeah. so we'll get to see Olivia for who she is. And vice versa, there many other musicians out there. Mm -hmm. I know you had Cherry V previously, a couple weeks back, yeah. and she be is for Jesse J at the moment. Yeah. So it's great to, to showcase the talent of many people who don't necessarily get the credit recognition they need. So it's a great initiative. And also the open mic as well, with people like Snips and Chucky, and other people out there doing great so it's a great initiative so what do you think that like, the uk scene needs like to go forward because obviously they've been here for a while what do you think they need to just go here and just 
I think more initiatives like such, um, more nights in which Indish people can come down, and also more events where talent is the is the main focus. At times, it's just down for numbers or gimmicks and stuff. But I believe the industry needs more talent. And what I want to see in the industry is a woman of darker complexion <laughs> from yeah. the United Kingdom out there. You got what Beverly Knight, who's a more of a legend. Yeah. You have Kelly the Rock, who's out there more of a legend. But you don't really necessarily have. Darker complaint. I'm not saying I'm not a racist thing. No, I know what you're saying. You're but, saying um, that it needs more. You know, yeah, yeah, I mean, it would be nice to have that in the industry. Um, I, I think UK get, Kelly Rowland kind of thing. There you go. I won't get too political before you get some dislikes in this video, but I'm, hey, quite sure hey, you know, <laughs> I'm quite sure you know what I mean. You've lost about 100 followers already, you know. I tell you. <laughs> so, uh, any albums or anything? Yeah, my present album is still out, like Illumination, and my present single, Picture Perfect, on BT, aka Smash Hits, Kiss, etc. Mm -hmm. Cut that action 79p. I and um, I'm doing that song tonight, so I guess you'll see the footage of it. Yeah. And working on my second album now, it's going quite well. It's quite challenging, a lot of travelling, mm -hmm. and my producers um, tend to tour with artists as well. Mm -hmm. So it's quite difficult to get studio time. I may need to invest in a home studio. Definitely. That might be the best bet at present. But um, I'm like eight to nine songs in, so I'm looking forward to it, trying to pick out the next single and see what, what we can do with that. Before I ask you the next question, I just want to put out there that Karama is actually like a studio engineer and whatnot. He's okay. smiling right now because he knows that I brought him in SP, yeah? Brought that SP? I like the quiff by the way, you can't see it but it's got a nice quiff. It's, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. I'm, I might do that to myself, what do you think? Yeah, I think it's good. I've got some hair on my stuff as well, so I don't know what relaxer he's using. Whatever he can we'll use, talk whatever you can we'll, recommend. We'll, we'll talk after yeah? this. Yeah. Like pink hole moisture. <laughs> yeah. Blue magic. <laughs> All right. So you mentioned the album. What should we? What should we expect from that? Is there any like, con, like a concept, or underlying concept kind of thing? Oh, um, it's quite eclectic. It's a reflection of myself. Mm. I don't necessarily like. I'll give it an overall title, which is what I'm working on at the moment. But I'll give it an underlying theme, which is great music, to be honest. Great music, great vibes, quite eclectic. Um, you've got a bit of electro, a bit of indie, a bit of rock. Um, mm. And a bit of Euro pop as well, because trying to do that European markets, I guess you've got to kind of yeah. cater to all markets yeah. and all aspects. So it's quite an eclectic mix. And if you're a fan of great and good music, then I'm quite sure you'll be a fan of my album too. Definitely check it out. I'm sure he'll come with that soon. Um, Twitter at FaithTryMusic, FaithTryMusic.com. Keep locked on to that. And also, music is my drug TV as well. I'm quite sure it'll be sure to let you know all the great information out there too. <laughs> I uh, will ask you another question, put you on the spot a little bit. Let's go. How did you, like, when did your addiction to music come about? How did it come about? When did it come about? I think it came about, um, I did my first tour to Porto when I was 11. Mm. So I've been doing music for a very long time. And I guess it really came about probably about five, seven years ago when I thought, wow, I enjoyed it, this is what I want to do. And I started checking out other genres. If you want to be a well rounded musician, you can't just listen to rap, oh, yeah. hip hop, you got to listen Versatile. to folk. Uh, uh, jazz, indie. blues, indie, Country. rock. I don't listen to death metal, it's a bit harder than it is. Oh, I love you! Ah! I don't know why your love is like that, but hey, <laughs> I can't imagine. It's but the bondage. It's I tell you, I tell you. <laughs> so I guess I listen to all genres of music. Yeah. So probably maybe five to seven years ago when I knew music was what I wanted to do as a profession. Okay, okay, sounds pretty good. And obviously, you're performing tonight. I'm sure people that are here will love that. It'll be great. I will have a top on, it's just nice and warm today. So I'll probably will sweat my top out, but I thought I'll keep the vest on for this nice kind of vibe. And um, I'm a drummer as well, so drumming does kind of help. <laughs> does kind of help at times. Are we showing off guns? Are we showing off guns? Oh, well, I, no, I wasn't even trying to. I'll, I'll take my you know top off now, I mean? but all right, let's... I'm not into men, I'm just letting you know that. Can you say you'll take the top off? I'm not really into men. I'm just pulling it out there. <laughs> Music is my drug TV. Josh Ford, Faith Child of Very Uncomfortable right now. So, all right? See ya. Yeah.